The Safe Drinking Water Act requires the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency to establish maximum contaminant level goals and maximum contaminant levels for numerous contaminants plus a list of unregulated contaminants. The frequency and number of required samples varies according to size of population served. Proper sampling and handling techniques and the use of a certified laboratory are required to accurately determine water quality. Proper collection techniques and reliable record keeping are essential. Here are some general water sampling procedures that apply to most situations. A dedicated sampling tap or station is the preferred location for water sampling. These are specially constructed fixtures controlled by the water provider that are not accessible to consumers. There is less risk of inadvertent contamination from dirt, dust, chemical fumes, or other materials. Tracking and properly identifying sample containers are as important as the water sample itself. Sampling typically, but not always, calls for the tap to be flushed before the sample is taken. If this is the case, label the container while the tap is running as follows. Sample location, sample code or sample number, date and time of collection, initial or name of the sample collector, type of analysis needed. This information should be written in waterproof ink on the label, which is or will be securely affixed on the sampling container. The same information should be found on the chain of custody sheet, along with other pertinent information, such as sampling site conditions that could affect the integrity of the sample. The use of disposable non-powdered gloves is highly recommended. Caution should be used, since some people have allergic reaction to latex or similar materials. Sample bottles should be transported in a cooler or ice chest. If collecting different types of samples such as raw water, finished water, or wastewater, different coolers should be used. Coolers used for bacteriological sampling should be cleaned daily. Reusable ice packs are recommended as a coolant. These should be placed in resealable plastic bags and covered with paper towels or an absorbent pad to prevent any coolant from leaking and can cushion the sample bottles. Samples should be 40 degrees Celsius or below upon receipt at the lab. Therefore, it's recommended to use one set of ice packs during sampling and exchange them for newly frozen ones immediately prior to shipping or transporting to the lab. Sample bottles must be free from contamination and when required, contain the proper preservatives for the specific type of analysis. One way of ensuring sample integrity is through the use of sampling blanks Trip blanks are water samples taken from the laboratory to the sampling site and returned to the lab without being opened. These quality control samples are used to detect contamination from transportation and or storage. Trip blanks are a critical aspect of sampling because when processed accurately, a trip blank ensures that primary samples were not contaminated during transportation. Field blanks are analyzed for the same reason but are opened or filled at the sampling site with store-bought distilled water. All samples and blanks should be transported cautiously to avoid breakage or leaks. Carefully controlled water sampling is important to assure accurate test results used to assess a community's water quality.